Before the formal era of large-scale unmanned and intelligent warfare, manned vehicles and infantry remain the core of the army, and soldiers themselves are one of the combat weapons. Just like firearms and vehicles, they also need to consider how to maintain their optimal condition. However, the specific conditions vary from country to country, and the living environment and supplies provided to soldiers are also different. Today, let's take a brief look at a few living standards for soldiers established by European and American countries. Haircuts are a common practice in our daily lives, but have you ever wondered why male soldiers often have short hairstyles, such as crew cuts and buzz cuts? Even in units near extremely cold polar regions, excluding countries such as India, the same requirement applies. So why is this requirement in place? First, it is considered from a hygiene perspective. Most soldiers are not sitting in air-conditioned offices. Daily training and patrols are very strenuous, and high levels of physical activity mean a lot of sweating. Long hair can create a warm and humid environment that easily breeds bacteria, and even parasites such as lice. In densely populated military units, this is not a good thing. Short hair basically solves this problem and is easy to clean. Short hair exudes a spirited and vigorous vibe. Morale is a direct manifestation of a military's combat capability, and short hairstyles can better highlight the soldier's spirited and vigorous demeanor, so it is necessary to regulate the soldier's hairstyles. Just imagine dozens of non-mainstream youth in military uniform standing there. They may have a lot of personality, but they are far from the image of a soldier in our hearts. As mentioned earlier, sweat is not good for soldiers. Sweat accumulates easily on the head, armpits, groin, and feet, leading to health problems such as body odor and athlete's foot. Talcum powder can keep the skin fresh, absorb sweat, and reduce the occurrence of prickly heat, so it is a common item in European and American armies. Soldiers are required to use it regularly, and female soldiers are specifically required to use it around the breasts. Sleep is necessary for the body to rest and recover. Although we see a lot of non-stop training and soldiers being called out for training in the middle of the night in movies and TV shows, we won't judge their authenticity for now. We can only say that the lives of soldiers are mostly not like that. During regular training and service, commanders need to give soldiers at least seven hours of sleep time per day. The U.S. Army believes that soldiers with insufficient sleep think slower, become more confused, and make more mistakes. Even if a soldier is sleepless, it is best to lie down and relax, at least allowing the body to rest. Dehydration is the biggest enemy of soldiers, and the importance of frequent water intake is well understood. However, soldiers should avoid holding their urine. Urination is a normal bodily function, and drinking more water naturally leads to more urination. Holding urine can bring about problems that should not be overlooked. Due to the lack of flushing in the urethra, bacteria can invade the body, leading to urinary tract infections, kidney infections, and weakened immunity. This is particularly important when carrying out missions in harsh outdoor environments, and friends who have had relevant medical history can understand the pain caused by related symptoms. It's understandable that soldiers don't use perfume. The military camp is not a place for daily life, so unless it's a holiday or going out, soldiers should not dress like ordinary civilians. However, the reason for not using scented soap in the field is also important. Scented soaps can attract insects, and the countless insects will bite the soldiers, driving them crazy. Although women are just as capable as men, the proportion of female soldiers in the military is generally much smaller. This is because female soldiers usually have slightly less physical strength and stamina compared to male soldiers, and another important reason is the female menstrual cycle. If a female soldier encounters her menstrual period in the field, it is best for her to conserve her drinking water and use this clean water to clean the relevant areas, rather than directly using water found in the field to avoid bacterial infection.